Hi guys, welcome to Cheryl's Home Cooking. Welcome to Cheryl's Home Cooking and today what I'm going to show you is my cheesy potato ground beef casserole. It's really good so let's get started. In my bowl I have two pounds of ground beef. I have half an onion that I diced. I'll dice half of a green pepper. Along with that I'll place one egg and then enough breadcrumbs to have it all come together. It'll probably be about a half a cup. So now I'll go chop the green pepper along with the two pounds of ground beef that I have in my bowl and the half a diced purple onion. I have half of a green pepper that I diced. So now I'll add in my egg and about a half a cup of breadcrumbs and mix it all together. I used a cup of breadcrumbs. So now that I have it all mixed together I'll place it in my pan. I have my oven on 350. So now I placed my ground beef in my pan and I formed it to go up to the side so I have the bottom and the sides all covered. I saved a little of the mixture to go on top because once I put my potatoes inside then I'll put the rest of the ground beef on top. So now to slice my potatoes I'll salt and pepper the ground beef. Now I have some of my potatoes that I put on the mandolin and I use the thick slice. I'll line them up on the bottom. Now that I have my first layer of potatoes, I'll salt and pepper that layer. I'll get some cheddar cheese. I'm starting out with 14 ounces of cheddar cheese. So now I'll lay some cheddar cheese on top. I'll add another layer of potatoes. On my mandolin I'm using about four of these large potatoes. So now I'll salt and pepper this layer. A little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. I'll add some more cheese on top. I'll pat it down and that was 14 ounces of shredded cheddar cheese that I used. Now I'll take the rest of the ground beef and put that on top and this is what it looks like. Now I'll salt and pepper this layer. I'll place some aluminum foil on top, put it in my 350 degree oven, and bake it for about two hours. Or until you see the Hamburg nice golden brown. This is what I call my cheesy potato ground beef casserole. So now I'll put some tin foil on top and into the oven it goes. Look at how good it came out. 